Rock Eyes would like to welcome Marcy Free, Unruly Child. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you very much, um, Rock Eyes. <laughs> no, no, no problem. Uh, back in 2014, down the rabbit hole, got four stars out of five uh, from our writer, Mark Ballow. Um, and now you have a new album, uh, Can't Go Home, in 2017. Um, how much different uh, uh, was down the rabbit hole compared to Can't Go Home? Well, Down the Rabbit Hole was our first attempt at uh, just starting our own label and kind of releasing it ourselves, and we'd never done anything like that before. So, um, uh, and then, uh, but we, but in that uh, that situation, as people are aware of or maybe not be aware of, was where we 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 did like I think six. Six songs. We had more written, but we just hadn't hadn't gotten them recorded yet. Right. And um, uh, so we. And then time. The thing was is that all our schedules were getting back, very uh, backed up. Uh, Guy was constantly on the road with the Doobie Brothers, and um, um, Bruce's Bruce been had been going through some personal things with his mom, and uh, my mom also passed during that during that whole situation too and uh it just got to be you know we got really backed up and we kept telling all all the fans you know because all the fans were just like please release it you know and so we we released what we had and we thought well we'll just call that side a and then we'll come back and we'll when we get our schedules cleared off we'll We'll uh, come back and we'll get side B done, um, but unfortunately that never happened because of a lot of other circumstances. Right. Uh, just time wouldn't allow it. So, and then also we had uh, we had gotten um, an offer from Frontiers, and um, so money being a consideration, um, also in the mix. You know, we decided well. What would what would we be, be best for us at this time? So we decided, well, we'll just move forward with the um, with the Frontiers project, and um, so basically, uh, the down the rabbit hole ended up being like an EP, like what we would call an EP. We never had done an EP before, but um, it's just you know that that was has to remain done now and we just got to leave that and just move forward now so right. we've got a two we got uh this record with frontiers and then they've got another option with us for another record after this yeah. so um hopefully we'll just keep that going and um i and since i've done a lot of other things i've retired and no longer working um i'm disabled so i can't uh work any longer wow well, hope you're okay. Yeah. Well, it's day by day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, um, the tracks that are on uh, Can't Go Home, um, was it a long process, writing? Can't Go Home was not. Uh, well, it, was, um, it wasn't It was long process writing. <clears throat> Just again, uh, <clears throat> a year ago, I was... Uh, I became, well, I didn't become disabled. I've been disabled for 10 years, but I've been trying to work through it and uh, for 10 years. But it just came to a head that after about 10 years of it, I just couldn't handle it anymore. And so I was leaving my job and um, going through quite an upheaval about that because <clears throat> certainly retirement has its own... Um, its own uh, pitfalls if you're not prepared for it. Right. And um, it it actually I wasn't I wasn't financially prepared for it. So it's it's I've taken a huge hit, and it was hard to figure out if I was going to be able to make ends meet. Mm-hmm. But um, we've done that now, and so we've gotten past that. So that was a very th- a difficult thing for me, which took a lot of my time to. Uh, resolve right um, but uh, that's the only reason that it took uh well it took us a little longer than normal normal will do a record a whole record in no more than four or five months right yeah 
Wow. Um, this one took uh, almost like almost ten to ten almost a year to get done right. because of all the things involved. Right. Yeah. But it is done, and parts of it is. I will. I, I hesitate. There was a couple songs that were going to be on on side B of Down the Rabbit Hole that uh, Bruce and Guy had written that did end up making this record. So it's almost like we're we're just kind of meshing it into what we were doing. Right. Um, but it also we want you know it's like with every record we do we always want to do something different or new uh, to try and improve on what we've done in the past. So with new technology comes new ideas and new expression, and um, so it it it's it's I won't say it's a continuation of what we've done in in that what we did with Rabbit Hole, but it's certainly um, moving forward from there. Cool, cool. Well, there was also a talk uh, about a box set coming out. Mm hmm. And that was all part of the uh, negotiations with uh, Frontiers. They wanted us to uh, uh, allow them to put out our whole catalog. Uh -huh. And um, um, they tried to get uh, the rights to release the first record. Um, but no, they couldn't do that. So um, uh, in uh, as a result of that they they wanted us to come over and play their festival in April right and play uh all of the songs on our first record and then they would have it they're going to have a video crew there and we're going to uh put it out as a live CD DVD of that show for the of the first record so we're going to do all the songs on the first record right. with the exception of one and that's the one we never we didn't write and it was a song by um uh, don't ask me. But it was, it was all. It was called Criminal. It wasn't our song, so we're not going to do that on right. this DVD. But we're going to be doing a few songs uh, from Rabbit uh, Rabbit Hole and our Worlds Collide record as well. Right. Uh, will there be other shows uh, in the future? Yes. Cool. Yes. I have anything booked yet? But we will. We are definitely planning on. Um, Playing out live now, especially now that I'm, you know, got more time. Right. And as long as my my health um, maintains, I, I won't be able to do a lot, but I'll, at least I'll be able to sing. Right. Wow. Um, I won't be jumping off any three foot drum <laughs> right <laughs> anymore. <laughs> You could try, <laughs> <Put it. laughs> you know, but uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, next year Andrew McNeese is uh, putting back his Melodic Rock Festival. Have uh, you yeah. been, oh. have you been in contact with him, or has he been in contact with you? Well, that's that's really funny because I have this old email address that I used for many years, uh -huh. and. Um, because I was required to go on that email address, I had not even thought of it because I, I've got a different email address hooked to my phone. And so, you know how that is. You right. know, everybody's got their phone, and it's like we're, our nose is in our phone all the time. It's just become our little traveling computer is really what it is. Right. So it's just so easy to get that. And um, he had sent me an email like three times to that other address, and I just went in there today because I had to. Uh -huh. So just like about a half hour ago. And that's funny that you're mentioning Andrew McNeese, but yeah, that's uh, he had. Sent, I saw that he sent me a couple emails, so I I sent him an email. I told him about my new address, and so I hope he gets in touch with us uh, about that. That would be great because uh, we would love to do it. Great, I'm pretty. Sure, um, that's excellent. We uh, our our site's been to every uh, Malak Rock Festival so far. Uh, he puts on a quality show, and uh, it, it's just a great time. You know, yeah. especially between fans and artists, and uh, the whole package is amazing. You know, mm -hmm. I love yeah. it. I think we, you know, here in the states, we definitely should uh, try. And I mean, if you know, different regions of the country were to be able to, you know, put these together, right? It would be great because it would keep us all, you know, busy, right? Definitely. And keep the fans happy too, because there's a lot of people out there that will still love our kind of music, 
but it's just that they just, you know, there's not a lot of uh, venues right. for it, you know? That's true. Definitely true. Fortunately. Because I'm on the East Coast, and uh, there's nothing here really that much. Uh, a couple uh, well-known places, but otherwise not really a lot what it used to be. Right. So most of that's gone. Um, so from down the rabbit hole to now, uh, were you working on any other projects? Musically, no. Uh-huh. No. No, we haven't done anything else. Um, we were also uh, in negotiations for this record. We were also talking with Frontiers about maybe re-releasing the Mark Free Long Way From Love album. Right. Um, but that didn't work out because there were so so many different writers on that um, who just couldn't agree. Right. So we couldn't get everybody's permission to do their songs, and so um, that won't be done. But um, and then they wanted me to do a, um, some solo records. Wow. And I just I couldn't commit at this time because I just had too much stuff on my plate at that time. Right, yeah. Like I say, with retiring and and um, doing that, doing their new record, can't go home. Right, right. Being in music, what would you say was the highlight uh, so far in your career? Hmm, the highlight in my career. Well, I certainly am proud of being able to act with uh, Lou Gossett Jr. in our in our our video, Iron Eagle, that was uh, uh, quite a thrill for me. Right. I've always wanted to um, work more in acting. Um, I've always loved uh, the theater and things like that, um, but I just, I never did it because I was always doing music and doing things, so, but um, who knows? Right. I, I don't know if I'll ever do more, but that was uh, that was fun for me. Um and certainly when King Cobra uh, w uh, did our two U.S. tours and things and with opening with Kiss and the guys, that was a lot of fun. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, what's your feelings uh, about the United States at this time? Uh, well, in terms of the music scene? Uh, you could say the music scene and, uh, you know, what's going on in the country. Oh, well. Uh, I think that uh, it's been a it's been a difficult uh transition for a lot of people. Uh -huh. Um I I would say the last 8 to 10 years has been just very difficult. Um I think right now America is in uh at a crossroads uh about our future, about who we are as a country. And uh, who we were uh, initially um, set up to be. Uh, I think, that unfortunately, there's a lot of influence, uh, outside influence, who, um, for unknown reasons, want to um, change who we are and who we were. We were initially, and to more be like whatever they want us to be. And it's it's put a lot of it's made it's put more stress on us as a people, right? Um, because there's there's so much uh, conflict, um, and everybody's fighting for their views. But I really think that we need to all focus on just our humanity, and not so much on our political views. And just uh, get over that, and just live and let live. Right. Wow. Live and let live. Cool. cool. Um, musically, I would I, I I would like to see a situation where uh, our kind of music could have more of a venue on radio. I know there are listeners out there, and I know that there are 
older people like ourselves <laughs> who, you know, oh, thanks. <laughs> may, have had, may have had the excuse of, well, I had children and I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. Well, the children are grown now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, you have no excuse for not going to concerts or not, you know, listening to those radio stations who play our kind of music. Right. And we should have, you know, an outlet. Every bit as strong as it was in the 80s, I think. Um, if if we, if we could just you know unite our forces, we we certainly have the numbers right. to do something like that and to support something like that. And there's no really reason that it couldn't continue on. And also, I think that um, there should be a separate uh, category in the Grammys for our kind of music. There never has been. Uh-huh. And we notoriously have been shut out of uh, award shows like that. I think it would be a great idea to start our own awards show, and we could uh, video it and tape it and maybe send it to MTV, and who knows, maybe they could play it or something, and we could call it the annual hair hair band, who knows, awards. Wow. A lot of that music's coming back. You know? It is. It is. And it's it's always been really great. It's just that, you know, I know Jack Russell's got his new record going out, and it sounds great yes. from Great White. Yep. And uh, a lot of great stuff out there right now. So. Wow. So, you know, what's the rest of the year look like for you? What do you have uh, planned or coming up? Um, well, like I say, in two months, we're going to be uh, heading off to... Um, well, I'm going to go to Los Angeles for a week before before we leave for Italy, and the band's going to get together and rehearse. And I'm going to play uh, live for the first time. I'm going to play guitar in the band. So, Excellent. I mean, not the guitar, but just the rhythm guitar section on a few songs, and um, hopefully work that more into our group because uh, I've been playing a lot of guitar lately, and then, and uh, I'm just I just love it. I just love playing the guitar. Cool. Uh, Oh, I'm going to just try working it in on a few songs to help support Bruce when he takes off on his leads. Cool. I think fans will enjoy that so much. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't wait. It's going to be exciting (laughs) for me. Very cool. Very cool. Well, Can't Go Home 2017. Pick it up. Unruly Child, Marcy Free. Uh, thanks very much for the interview. It, it's uh, really a highlight for me. And, uh, you know, I thanks. still look back on the last interview we did, as I mentioned before, uh, which was very special to me. Awesome. Um, so, uh, congratulations on Can't Go Home. Uh, would you like to say anything to the fans out there before I conclude? Well, just know we, we always love you and we thank you very much for your un, uh, undying support and love. And we look forward to seeing you all out there. Thanks very much, Marcy. God bless. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon.